Hello there and welcome. In today's tutorial we're going to be looking at creating geometry using the floating sphere example. So we're beginning, going to begin by loading up the macro. We're going to be using the designsphysics.py macro um, so we'll execute that and we're going to begin our new case. So we're going to begin by setting up our case limits on the left hand side there. So we're going to set up the position of our case limit um, and we're going to have an x value of minus 2000 millimeters, a y value of minus 2000 millimeters, and a z value of minus 50 millimeters. That's just for this particular case. Um, you may have different values depending on the case you're using. Um, we're going to use a length in this case of 4000 millimeters, a width of 4000 millimeters, and a height of 5000 millimeters. And we're going to position that in view by clicking fit to view up in the top left there. So we're now ready to begin building our geometry. So we're going to start with a cube. So we click the yellow cube up on the top there. And then we decide what we're going to call this particular bit of geometry. We're going to call this part bottom because it makes up the bottom of our domain. And then we are going to position it. So we're going to unfill the position part here. And we're going to use an X of minus 1500 millimeters, a y of minus 1500 millimeters, and a z of zero. And now we're going to choose the size of our cube. So we're going to, we're going to have a length of 3000 millimeters, a width of 3000 millimeters, and a height of only one millimeter. And now we're going to have our sphere. So we click the sphere at the top there. We're going to leave this called sphere so we can leave the label the same. Once again, expand the position column. We're going to have x, y, 0 and z equals a thousand millimeters and we define the radius of our sphere by clicking on the radius row just there and we're going to have a radius of 500 millimeters. So once we click off this we can see our sphere has been created. If we click on that we can see it highlights in the left column there and we can click the bottom and again it highlights in the left column there. One final cube this is going to make up our fluid region so we're going to call this one water and again, we're going to expand the placement tab. We're going to position at minus 1500 in the X, minus 1500 in the Y, and 0 in Z. And again, we're going to define the size of our box, our cube. We're going to have a length of 3000 millimeters, a width of 3000 millimeters, and a height of 2000 millimeters. And if we click on water there, we can see that it highlights in the main window there. Now, we can alter the visual properties of the cube by going into this column here. And we're just going to set a transparency of 50 um, so that we can see inside. And you can see that the sphere is still a separate entity. The bottom is still a separate entity. And the water is a separate entity. Now, please note, this is only a specific example. You can create any geometry you would like, or if you would like to import geometry, please look at the importing STL video that has also been put up. If you have any further questions, please go to the Jules Physics Forum or contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.